um, next week, next week we should uh, have the the link. Uh, we're going through the hotel uh, where we're doing the venue at in North Carolina, Charlotte, North Carolina. And by next week, uh, we have a, I guess, uh, I guess on Monday we have a time where everybody is not working the same hours. I guess they call it a holiday or something, but. You know, this world do all types of stuff. They got St. Patrick's Day, St. Watermelon Day, St. Bake Day. It, 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 I don't, all these different days that they have. So, um, but anyhow, when I have the link, I will be giving everybody the link. You'll have the link. And most likely that will be next week. Next week. Okay, I look forward to seeing you. You're going to have so much fun with me in Charlotte, North Carolina on June the 21st and June the 22nd. You would, you should endeavor. Oh. You should endeavor. You should endeavor to have. You should endeavor. You should endeavor to stay until Sunday for the purpose that we can hang out in that uh, 24 hours before you leave. You should endeavor to come. And leave, or, or rather leave, rather on um, after that Sunday, if you can, or that Sunday night, so that I can meet and talk with you and share a lot of sacred things with you on that Sunday, on that exact day, that Sunday. So, you know, the conference is going to be June the 21st, June the 22nd. On June the 23rd, I'll share a lot of intimate things with you. Okay, so you, you should, you should seek to not fly out on Saturday night don't don't have a flight for Saturday night okay don't have a flight for Saturday night and don't have a flight for early Sunday morning see if you could do your um, your flight to be there all of Sunday if you can if you can it will be good so that you don't feel left out. And then don't, you don't want to regret, I'm telling you, you don't want to regret time with the Holy Spirit. This, I mean, this is very important. As you can see, I don't do conferences just like all the, all the time. So when I do a conference, just know there's much meaning and much, much purpose to the conference. There's much meaning and much, much purpose to the conference. So you want to make sure that you're there. By all means necessary, make sure you're there. And by next week, those of you are, it's okay for you to sow into the conference to make it. Like right now, let me just show you something. If you're saying, do I sow the seed into profit or do I sow it? into me getting my ticket and getting in my room and getting the conference. It's okay for you to sow towards getting to the conference. You see what I'm saying? And if I could be honest with you, <laughs> if I could be honest with you, let me share something with you. I have so much things on my plate, I really can't focus on some of you all. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, let me just say this. I, I, hope, I hope you can hear me with ears of the spirit. And I'm going to explain it to you because I have a wisdom of none. I'm going to explain it to you so that you can catch what I'm really saying. The apostles in the book of Acts are different from the apostles today. We don't have really time to facilitate and like 
navigate and know, okay, you gave me all your check. Watch this one. You gave me all your check. So I'm going to give you, <laughs> I'm going to give you out of this check, thus and thus. Like we don't have that time like they did. Now, I'm not saying that they were lazy. They weren't lazy. They had time. But say right now, say, let me give you an example. Say you sow all your money right now and you say, well, I'm going to believe God to get me to the conference. <laughs> I have a lot of things on my plate to like leave all those things and like start going through seeds and stuff and say, well, this person, so I'm going to make sure. I help them get to a conference. I help them get to a conference. I have a lot on my plate, y'all. So if you want to make it easier for me, I want you to take the money that you would sow into me and handle your tickets. Take the money that you would sow into me and handle your room. Okay? Because I don't want Nobody to feel like, oh, God failed me. No, no, no. I, I'm just giving you wisdom because I have a lot on my plate and I have to focus on these things so that we can have everything in order. When you're doing a conference, if, if some of you all don't know, it's, it's more to it than you just. And I've heard people say like they spent 50000 on a conference. I don't know no conference. That I My first conference, I ain't spent $50,000 on no conference. Off the jump, fifty thousand is like the the bare minimum of the the jump start. So, if you're doing a conference correctly with everything, um, everything in order in place. So, if you can do that for me, so I can focus on everything being navigated correctly. We have a band. We have travel of our own I have singers I have a lot of singers I have a lot of people and um, uh, secondarily let me just say this to you I'm able to do this conference because you all pit money I want to be very blunt right now you pit this money here I'm not taking this money to go on a vacation go on a trip the Holy Spirit told me don't worry about hindrances don't worry about weather. Don't worry about nothing. Either way, we doing the Welcome Holy Spirit Fire Conference. So I pit it towards the instruction of the Holy Ghost. And it's going to be a beautiful experience for you because you get to experience the fire of God on your body. You get to experience the presence of God on your physical body. You get to be in my presence on these days. So... It's going to be a good thing, a good time, and you're going to have a lot of fun with me just being in my presence and hearing these teachings, hearing what I'm going to say to you and me just ministering to you. So I don't want anybody to miss this by any means necessary. Make sure that you're there at the Welcome Holy Spirit Fire Conference. Don't procrastinate and say, I'll be at the next conference. I'm not having the next conference. <laughs> I'm not having the next conference. The Welcome Holy Spirit Fire Conference, North Carolina edition, is where you want to meet me at on June the 21st and June the 22nd. All right? Don't look for next conference because I'm not having next conference. I'm only doing a now conference. This I, I just moved by what the Holy Spirit is telling me and the Holy Spirit not telling me that we're going to do a continuation of conferences. He just said, do this. I'm being obedient, joyfully, happily. And I want you to be a part of it because I have an impartation for you. Let me just let you understand also, why do the Lord do conferences and why do, do the Lord do impartations? Why? Because... He has something that he wants to place inside of your belly that's not currently there. If you don't come, you don't understand what he was placing inside of you. It was carrying the changing of a condition in your life, the changing of a health status, 
the changing of a financial status, the changing of a mental status, the changing of a relationship status. And people miss the impartation and their life goes slow and things go downhill and then they pray to God to help them. But remember, God does not help you the way that you want to be helped. He helps you with instructions. He give you an instruction, you get there. You done paid the weed man <laughs> before. You done paid the alcohol person before. You done paid, hey, you, sometimes you even paid. I'm not going to talk about it. But <laughs> when it comes to the Holy Spirit and the will of God, what are you going to go? What's the extremity you're going to go to fulfill the will of God? What, 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 what level are you going to go? What level are you going to go? So, make that investment to see Prophet Joshua Holmes on June the 21st and June the 22nd in Charlotte, North Carolina. We at the um, UNC uh, Charlotte Marriott, look on your phone, son. Charlotte Marriott, uh, Charlotte Marriott, and Hotel and Conference Center. I think it's 9041. Oh, I got it. I got it, son. Don't worry. 9401 Robert, Robert D. Snyder. 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 Robert nine zero one Robert D Snyder Road Charlotte North Carolina. That's how them people be telling the uh, they be telling the address when they when they trying to do uh, lawsuits for crashes. We'll get you your money. Back problems, neck problems, <laughs> sneezing problems, ear problems. If your ear drums is drumming faster than your drummer. We'll get your money for you. <laughs> Just call us. One time I saw a man up there fighting the alligator on the commercial. <laughs> Had the alligator in the headlock. We'll, 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 we'll choke all the alligators that's trying to stop you from getting your money. And then they start lying to you, telling them this person, they, they got $2.5 billion. They got 2.5 billion. What do they got two? Now, uh, the conference is at 9041 Robert D. Snyder Road, Charlotte, North Carolina, 28262. <laughs> now, when, when you are... Uh, when you are uh, a part of this uh, conference, there's several things that I want to point out to you. Um, what are some prayer points that you should pray about? Number one, you want to pray that this conference is not hindered. You want to pray that this conference is not hindered. So when you're in prayer, decree and declare that this conference, that the will of God will be done and that it wouldn't be hindered by principalities and powers. Pray for the safety of your man of God because the gates of hell do not want him to succeed. I remember when we went to Mississippi. Oh my goodness. The worst flight of my life where that plane was about to fall out the sky. We went up in that flight and the flight was so turbulent. Every The plane, well, pieces was falling off or something like that. The ceiling started falling off the, uh, the flight. We was in a major thunderstorm. Flight started turning over. Plane started turning over, and there was a lady in there. She was so ghetto, as she she was ghetto as I don't know what. She was talking like as soon as this stuff started happening, that girl, that girl, she tried, she wanted to run over there where I was. I'm like, God, by, by Shaquita. Shaquita tried to come over where I was. No, nah, don't don't bring them ham hocks over here. Keep them ham hocks and them greens over there. Keep that syphilis. <laughs> Keep that syphilis over there. 
Keep keep that marijuana over there, ma'am. Don't come over here with that whoopee. Tough plane. Tough plane. And uh, that plane was hindered so many times. Um, it was a tough ride. And uh, while we was inside that plane, I had my sons with me and the Holy Spirit told me to put my hands up on that plane and pray. And if I would pray, it wouldn't go down. Then people only survived because I was in there. It was, it was basically the end. And I'm going to tell you like this here. Like, those pilots, that <laughs> I think they'd be borderline suicidal because they, they'd be giving up. <laughs> All right, everybody. Uh, <laughs> I've been having trouble with my wife anyway. We've been going through it. <laughs> Uh, she won 50-50 on it also uh, I don't know what you came to do but uh, yeah so it, it was a it was a tough flight but I'm saying this to let you know you should pray for the safety of your man of God you should pray that they are not harmed that they are protected that the gates of hell would not succeed in any attack against them to hinder them from getting to the conference and then you should also pray that everybody would have a heart that cooperates with the atmosphere of the glory that they don't have the mentality of a Pharisee, tradition, that make the word of none of God, none effect, so that they can receive their miracle. In in conferences, I've noticed that some people receive their healing and some people don't. But where's the heart? Where's the heart at? What did you come there for? You come to fight niggas and bite niggas? <laughs> if you think that you, Miss Dinosaur, Miss Dinosaur Train, you come to a conference. I mean, you're not going to get healed from nothing. You're trying to fight and bite. Please don't come here and start now because I, I'm i going to set some folks on here. Don't do it. Don't do it this time. I've been nice other conferences. Don't do it this one. It will set some folks up on you. But that's just a joke. I'm just joking around. But uh, I want you to, I want you to um, really, really make it your objective these next couple weeks to start to really visualize because the Holy Spirit will show you what's going to happen and he'll prepare you to let you know what is your part to play in these things what is the part that I am supposed to play towards profit what does profit need of me the Holy Spirit will show you so Lay aside every weight and the sin that so easily beset you and consecrate yourself. Meaning like just really take these moments to reflect on the goodness of the Lord and how he's been patient with you. How he's been long suffering with you and just really endeavor to create an experience for him. And if you want to create the experience for him, you'll be shocked the experience that he creates for you. And that's really the secret to healing. And deliverance and that's the secret to blessing many people are saying Lord give me this deliverance give me this blessing but you deliver God and you bless God and you say well, how could I deliver the Lord deliver him from unbelief because that's what he experienced through most people deliver him from dishonor because that's what he experienced from most people deliver him from prayerlessness because that's what he experienced unthankfulness that's what he experienced from most people so you have to sow deliverance into King Jesus before you can reap deliverance from King Jesus. And many people don't know that. Whatever you want from him, you give it to him first. Lord, I want a house. Well, how is the Lord homeless? He not able to live inside of your house. You let other unclean spirits occupy your body, your mind. Well, if you give him the house of your body and soul, you'll be shocked how you enter into your physical house on earth. So these are things that you must uh, be
be real uh, cautious of and really think about. So I'll be giving you updates and letting you know everything, okay? And because of your sowing and because of your giving, I've been able to do this conference. I'm using the money that you all put in my hands. I'm using your money gifts, your seeds towards this, and I thank you for it. I thank you for all the times that you make sacrifices. I thank you for all the time that you decide to sow into me. Because I'm a sower as well. And I understand that uh, for you to gather that thought and actually act on it. Because a lot of people procrastinate. It's a beautiful thing. So I'll see you at the conference. And it's free to attend. And there's no registration. Because <laughs> I prophesied to all y'all. Y'all get registration. All y'all names be on the board. <laughs> be like, Miss, Miss Willie Earl the Third, Miss Willie Earl the <laughs> Third. If I had a registration, I'd be prophesying to everybody. Everybody. I'd prophesy to everybody. Prophesy Willie Earl the Third. Yeah, that's, you you registered, right? <laughs> well, this is you. All right. Let's catch this flight. All right.